up YouTube? We're back with another episode. What the hell am I doing? And today we're doing an episode of Spicy Sports Betting. It's a super Saturday this week. That means we're going to do three bets. And uh, we got to get right down to it because uh, the UFC is actually starting right now. It's, uh, well, it's, it's already started for a little bit. Um, the prelims are on right now. But the main card doesn't start for a few hours. So I got to get this done, edited, and uploaded so it can at least be in HD before the main card starts at 2 p.m. So we're going to get right down to it. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, and if you have anything to say about the fights, please leave a comment. So I'm going to pick three fights from UFC 280, which is this afternoon. And we'll start with, uh, well, we're going to all be main card fights. So we'll start with the bottom of the three, uh, which is Piotr Jan versus Sean O'Malley. Um, you know, this is an interesting fight. Uh, Piotr just came off a loss against Aljamain Sterling. Um, which I thought, uh, you know, going into that fight, he was going to win that fight because the first fight he was winning. Um, he went into that fight a little cocky, a little stupid, and he lost that fight. Um, he gets a chance to redeem himself against a guy that's a rising star in the UFC, who is Sugar Sean O'Malley. Uh, Sugar Sean's got good hands, um, and he's had some exciting wins. Um, he has one loss. Um, I don't think he's fully proven yet. Uh, Piotr Jan has obviously fought tougher guys and has been around for a longer time and he's proved himself and, um, you know, obviously been there before. So this is the biggest fight for Sugar Sean. Um, if he wins this fight, it's a huge win. Uh, no doubt about it. Uh, it does a lot for his, uh, his ranking and uh, obviously give him a lot of, uh, a lot of clout. So should Sugar Sean pull this fight off? And he could, I mean, he, he has good boxing, he has slick hands. You know, if Piotr comes into this fight like he did last fight and he's not ready to fight him or he's a little bit over cocky, you know, he could win. But I think Piotr's going to be a little hungrier and a little smarter than he was last fight. And um, I think what you're going to see is the veteran guy is going to end up, um, you know, outsmarting the younger guy and outworking him. And uh, I think he'll end up winning the fight. So what we're going to bet today is we're going to do the Flaming Hot Cheetos Challenge yet again. Well... It's on the line again. I didn't do it last time because uh, I ended up getting out of it. <laughs> so we're going to do one tablespoon or teaspoon, teaspoon, not a tablespoon. We're going to do a teaspoon per fight. So I will bet a teaspoon of Champ's Power Flakes, which is a combination of ghost pepper, Maruga scorpions, reapers. You know, it's all the hottest peppers that I grew in my, in my garden. Um, I will put a teaspoon of that into the uh, Flaming Hot Cheetos macaroni if Piotr Jan loses this fight. And moving on to the second fight. We're going to do Aljamain Sterling versus TJ Dillashaw. Um, Aljamain obviously just proved himself to be the champion. Uh, he beat Piotr Jan in his last fight uh, after taking the championship on a, uh, you know, questionable circumstance. Um, so now he's going on to a second title defense against TJ Dillashaw. Now say what you want about TJ. You know, he's cheated. He's been caught. Um, he, his career will be tainted for that forever. Um, and people will probably always suspect him of doing things, but that doesn't change the fact that he's going to show up ready. And, uh, his game plan is probably just going to be to put his gas on the uh, foot on the gas and just keep it going that way from start to finish. I'm not sure if Aljamain Sterling, sorry, uh, my allergies. <laughs> I'm not sure if Aljamain Sterling, um, is going to be able to handle that kind of pace for an entire fight. Uh, of course, you never know. He could still catch TJ or, 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 you know, put him in a bad spot, I guess. But I think what's going to happen, I don't even know what, what could happen. That's that's the thing. Uh, I, I really think that TJ is going to probably just put the gas on this guy. And I think he's going to outwork him and tire him out. So um, I'll be betting also a teaspoon of Champs Power Flakes on TJ Dillashaw winning the fight. And for the main event of the evening, the most talked about fight of the card, one that people have been wondering about for quite a long time, it's going to be Charles Oliveira versus Islam Makachev. Um, you know, in the past, I've doubted Charles Oliveira. I've picked against him a couple times, and he's made me look silly for doing so. Um, he has proved himself not to be a guy that crumbles and quits anymore. At one point, that was an accusation that was fair to make. Um... Uh, I don't think that's the case anymore. I think he's proving himself to be a championship quality fighter. Problem is, the last time he had the belt, he missed weight. <laughs> so, you know, that's a bit of a knock too. But, that being said, he put on a great performance that night. Um, 
and he didn't crumble, he didn't fade, uh, so, you know, it, it seems to be a different guy now. Islam Makachev is obviously an up-and-coming guy, he's created quite a hype frame for himself, um, you know, he's had some exciting wins, and uh, he, he's done well in the UFC so far. Problem is, is that he has not faced the same kind of competition that Charles Oliveira has faced. That doesn't mean he can't beat him. He can. He can. He absolutely can. Um, if he's the real deal, he will beat him. But that being said, um, you know, we haven't seen him fully tested. We haven't seen him being, be put in the situations that he can't get out of yet. Um, and Charles Oliveira is going to test that. Uh, Makachev might be able to out-wrestle him. He might be able to control him. Uh, but the thing is, is that Oliveira doesn't mind that. He doesn't mind being put on the ground. He doesn't mind being put in bad positions because his, uh, his jiu-jitsu is out of this world. So, even though in many situations, having wrestling and control can be a, a complete superior position to a fighter, against a guy like Charles Oliveira, you still have to be 100% sharp with your wits because you can get caught no matter what position you've put him in. And that's the situation that's going to come up in this fight. Is Islam going to be able to steamroll him and beat him immediately for the fight? If he does, if he steamrolls him, he's going to win the fight. If he can make him quit early, he will win the fight. But I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to try to steamroll him and Oliveira is going to be competent in every position he gets put in. And I think that uh, in the end, he's going to be able to control the fight or, or get out of situations using his jiu-jitsu. And uh, he's either going to submit him or win a decision. So I will bet my third teaspoon on uh, Charles Oliveira winning the fight uh, against Islam Makachev. I, th I think that's what's going to happen. But, you know, I won't be surprised if Makachev finds a way to win too. I mean, every time I bet on Oliveira, the opposite happens. So keep that in mind. So, yeah, just to recap, I'm picking Piotr Jan to beat Sean Molly. I'm picking TJ Dillashaw to beat Aljamain Sterling, and I'm picking Charles Oliveira to beat Islam Makachev. And for each one of those fighters, I'll be betting a teaspoon of Champs Power Flakes in the Flaming Hot Cheetos. So if all three guys lose, it's going to suck for me. If one loses, it's still going to suck, but it won't be that bad. <laughs> and if none lose, then, well, then I get away scot-free. But uh, we got to see how that all plays out. So, yeah, that's all we're going to say today. Um, I want to get this edited and up so I can get it up early enough. Um, I appreciate everybody who's been watching the channel. Things keep growing. The numbers keep going up. So I appreciate everybody who's tuning in. Uh, I appreciate all the likes. And I appreciate all the comments. And I would love to hear from more of you. Not enough of you comment. So please, say something. I will answer if you have anything you want to say. Um, and of course, hit that subscribe button. About 75% of you are not subscribed. So it doesn't cost a thing. And you're going to be joining a cool thing and helping a cool thing grow. Um, and tomorrow, or sorry, not tomorrow. <laughs> I've changed days. But next Thursday will be my next Explore. We're doing Thursdays at 6 p.m. for the Explore videos for now. Um, then we're going to experiment on Tuesdays to see how that does for uh, views. But uh, for the next few videos, tune in Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern to see my new Explore. But that's all the time we've got for now. i got to get this online. So make sure you subscribe to the channel there. Check out the Explore video from last week of the uh, Lonely Farmhouse. It's a cool one. And check out this random video here. And tune in Thursday for my next Explore premiere. And tune in next Saturday to see if there's punishment. If not, I'll be tasting the next hot sauce that I made. Thanks for tuning in.